Good night, good night, how are you tonight? God is good and God is good all the time. My name is Emma J. Spirit is Divine. I'm here to give you your own word on tonight. I'm sorry, I'm here to give you all, uh, I'm here to give you a little shout news on tonight. Um, first we're going to start with a miracle missing after 15 hours in the Gulf of Mexico. You know, so truly a miracle missing a carnival on Passioner had found alive after 15 hours in the Gulf of Mexico. You know, so the carnival cruise line, line has said that a man was reported missing around noon Thursday while the ship was on its way to a uh, cruise zone. You know, so New Orleans, you know, a missing passenger, uh, 28 years old, you know, who went overboard from the, con to, uh, the carnival was rescued by the United States Coast Guard after spending at least 15 hours in the water. You know, so that is a miracle. You know, for um, to be in the water for 15 hours and you come out and you're still alive. You know, that's a miracle, you know, from God. You know, so the Gulf of Mexico, you know, he ended up in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, he was in New Orleans, went off the, um, the cruise ship, but then he ended up in the Gulf of Mexico. You know, so the missing man was with his sister at the bar Wednesday evening and left around 11 o'clock p.m. You know, to use the restaurant, you know, but the man did not return to his uh, stateroom that evening, and his sister reported him missing the next morning, you know, not knowing he had felt overboard, you know, so the cruise line said it made announcement over the ship and a car, and a, and a passenger reported, um, they reported security searching the ship with a photo of the missing man on their phones, you know, so the, um, so they begin, um, retracing, you know, her route to suppose the search rescue effort, you know, so they issued an alert somewhere in the water, you know, so they alert that someone in the water, you know, so the carnival had traveled 200 miles into the Gulf of Mexico, you know, since the missing passenger was last seen. You know, so about six hours later, you know, a, a, a car ship, a car ship identified, uh, spotted a person in the water about 20 miles south or southwest, you know, of uh, Louisiana, you know, in the mouth of Mississippi River. You know, so Jay Hawkins, helicopter, air crew, you know, the man, then to the helicopter that crossed, said the man was responsive was able to confirm his identity and that he was the missing pastor you know so he they found him was a missing pastor but he had been in there for like 15 hours now that's a long time that's a long time to still be alive you know so that's why they say this is a miracle this is a miracle to be in the water for 15 hours and still be alive you know so he appears to be suffering from my shocking you know, but his condition overall appears, you know, see, he is okay. So the man was taken to a waiting medical um, personnel, you know, in New Orleans Lakefront Airport. You know, so he is still in stable condition. Now, we all be young, grateful that this case ended up with a positive outcome. You know, it took a totally team effort. From the Coast Guard, you know, watch and respond crew in our professional, um, in our professional, in our professional partners operating, you know, so they're saying they did a great job by locating him, you know, so the Gulf of Mexico to locate the missing individual to get him to safety, you know, so they did a good job by, um, finding and taking care of him taking care of them and sending them to medical help. You know, if not for the alert crew aboard, the major um, channel crane just will, uh, could have had much more difficult ending. You know, a missing man name has, now his name had not been released yet. You know, it has not been released. You know, so uh, New Orleans, you know, um, November 23rd, that's when this happened, by, for the stop and coup, excuse me, 
um, in progress. Now, it's five-day cruise. It was a five-day cruise. And the ship is set to return to New Orleans. You know, so that he took on the ship from New Orleans, going to a, a, a trip for five days into their house. And, you know, so the man fell off the carnival uh, ship and ended up in the water for 15 hours. You know, he ended up in the uh, Gulf of Mexico. You know, so it's a miracle to be alive after 15 hours in the water and you end up in Gulf of Mexico. You know, so it's a blessing for him to be alive. You know, some people cannot survive that long in the water, but he survived 15 years. I look at me 15 years, 15 hours, and that is a long time, you know, so that was a miracle, that was a miracle from, from God, you know, God kept that man alive, you know, for 15 hours like that, you know, um, you know, so all I'm going to say, when you're on a cruise, and he was grown, it was a grown man, you know, so when you're on a cruise, you know, please be careful. You know, because the ship are moving. You know, so try not to lean on the uh, on the curve of the boat. You know, or you will flip over. You know, you will flip over. So I just need everyone to be careful when you're on the ship. You know, try not to go by out there by yourself or let somebody know you're going out there. So when they don't see you, they know exactly where to to start lo looking for you. You know, uh, locating you. You know, so uh, please be careful when you're on the ship. You know, don't go out and leaning all on on, on the thing or on the back and on whatever the case is. You know, just try to be careful. It's possible. You know, because I, I don't I don't like to hear stuff like this here. Um, I just need y'all to be careful. To try not to lean when you're out there on the boat. You know, because uh, he, you know, um, he survived for 15 hours, but somebody else may not be that lucky, you know, so I just need everyone, when you're on the cruise, please just be careful, don't lean on to Brad, we don't know exactly what he did, but we know he fell over, you, you know, so, oh, uh, he was, a, that was a miracle, that was a miracle that occurred, you know, that God kept him alive, you know, God kept him alive, you know, so that's all the show news I have for you on today tonight and I see y'all on the next video y'all have a blessed sleep.